What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today we are talking about Tesla. Some huge news hit the press and I don't feel like it's been covered that much. So we're gonna be talking about the new record VIN registrations for Model 3, which are a really strong indicator that production is going well and ramping significantly even beyond what I had expected. I know I'm making a ton of Tesla content recently, so sorry if you like the channel for other stuff. I promise we got a ton more in the works. I have awesome stuff on Spotify coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. But today we are talking about Tesla. The stock, as I'm making this video, is at about $300 per share up almost 5% from the day, like over $50 per share in the past couple days. It was under 250 bucks a share, you know, right before they reported their Q1 delivery and production. Now it has bounced back. And now today, earlier this morning, we got some news that I believe is driving the stock to new highs. Okay, so for those of you guys who don't know, there is this piece of data, which is the most important piece of data that I'm watching for Tesla right now, which is the vehicle identification number, the VIN. This is a number that is reported to the National Highway Traffic and Safety Administration while they are producing vehicles. It is leading indicator of production of Tesla. Yeah, it could be off by 10, 20, 30%, but this is the best indicator we have in real time of what's happening with Model 3 production. Bloomberg's Model 3 production tracker, which I'm sure you guys are all familiar with, which has a ton of amazing data, is entirely built off of these VINs that are reported to NHTSA. That's the data that's inputting all of Bloomberg's models. There's even a Twitter account called Model 3 VINs, and today they tweeted this morning that Tesla registered 4,793 VINs with NHTSA, the highest being 25,374. Why is this huge news? Because Tesla has been registering VINs on a weekly basis. So that means if this is even remotely right, that they produced or are planning on producing somewhere around 4,700 cars. Now this is a leading indicator, so it's not what they're gonna produce this week or even necessarily next week, but in the very near term, it looks like Tesla's production could be ramping well beyond 2,000 per week, closer to you know maybe 4,000 per week. Now let's take a look at some of the Bloomberg stats to see how we can actually extrapolate this. One of their most common things is this sort of trend where they have the highest VIN number registered with NHTSA as a leading indicator of about a week or two for their actual estimate for production. As you can see, Bloomberg still hasn't even updated their model as I'm making this. The last uh, highest VIN they had was in the low 20,000s, and you can see the ramp is already starting to look exponential. If you t if we add in that new highest VIN that got reported this morning of 25,000, the chart even looks more exponential. Bloomberg also has this new feature called Trend, where they estimate Model 3 production um, in the coming weeks. They have it at 1270 per week now, which seems to be a low ball given the numbers Tesla just reported, and they have it scaling to about 2,000, you know, 200 or 2,300 per week in the very near term. My guess is they're gonna have to extrapolate this closer to almost 4,000 per week with this new VIN data. I'm just super stoked about this. It looks like the worst of Tesla's production hell is behind them, right as everyone threw in the towel on the company was right when they were turning a corner and executing. I mean, Tesla could be producing positive operating cash flow if they're able to build 5,000 Model 3s per week. They just res registered over 4,700 VINs in a week. So, you know, they seem to be within striking distance of that 5,000 per week goal. This is awesome news, I think, for everybody involved in the Tesla community. Anyway, that wraps it up for this episode. Would love to know what you guys think in the comments below. I would encourage you all to follow the Model 3 VIN tracker on Twitter if you want to stay up to the latest. I'm going to be super on the lookout to see how many VINs Tesla's registering next week. I think if they can keep up registering over 4,000 a week, you know, into the the near term, that is going to be a really, really good sign for Q2 production. So anyway, it looks like the Model 3 is indeed scaling. Huge shout out to our supporters on Patreon for helping out. I'll put a link in the description so you can check out our page. Anyway, this is HyperChange. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.